Hello, everybody. My name is Paulina Crisman. I am a medical oncologist who specializes in lung cancer at MD Anderson Cancer Center at Cooper. My name is Wusama Wuzgaib. I'm a chief of pulmonary and critical care at Cooper, and I am a, an interventional pulmonologist at MD Anderson Cancer Center at Cooper. What makes screening so important is the goal in lung cancer is to detect it very early at an early stage where we can start having a conversation or a discussion about a cure rather than a treatment. If we identify even a small cancer, it already developed, but it's small, it's tiny, it is stage one cancer and we remove it, the chances of that patient in having a long life are, are, uh, have now soared up significantly. Lung cancer is the deadliest cancer in the world and mainly because it's usually asymptomatic. Um, patients with early stage, they have no symptoms uh, till they are at a later stage. And some of the, the, the symptoms for lung cancer are nagging cough, uh, weight loss, and sometimes coughing up some blood. The criteria for lung cancer screening are one, if you're 50 to 80 years old, uh, if you have smoked equivalent to one pack a day for 20 years, and you did not quit smoking more than 15 years before the screening. When you show up to get your screening done, you have to be evaluated by a physician. The physician has to explain to you what is lung cancer screening, why do we do it, and what are the potential findings we may get on the CAT scan. After that visit, a low-dose low dose radiation CAT scan is ordered without contrast, so you have no IV. You just lay on the CAT scan table for about a minute or so, and the CAT scan is obtained. When the CAT scan is performed, it's going to be read by a radiologist. And if any lung nodules are identified, uh, usually a patient is informed, the primary care doctor is informed, and then patient is referred to a lung nodule clinic. This is a very important message is for patients not to panic. About 96% of lung nodules or abnormalities detected on the low-dose CT scan are usually benign. Only four or five percent are significant and could be potentially cancers. There is an, an entire risk assessment that goes into identifying which nodule is which. We make recommendations based on how these nodules look. Some patients just come in for scans and there's nothing else to do. Some patients after just one scan are recommended to undergo biopsy or to undergo, um, or to undergo a surgery. It's really very much dependent on what that nodule looks like, where there are any other nodules, patient's personal individual history, and so forth. Where we have the edge at MD Anderson, at Cooper, and Cooper as an institution is we have three interventional pulmonologists seeing the patients within one or two days after the request for a visit. When we see a report or a CAT scan suspicious for lung cancer, we want to see those patients right away. We want to try to get the biopsies as soon as possible. The most recent technology we acquired at Cooper is robotic bronchoscopy. In the past, we used to guess where the nodule is based on the CAT scan and use our training and our expertise to try to uh, reach this nodule and biopsy it. Now we have a navigation system, similar to the navigation system that you have in your car that creates a pathway or a roadmap how to accurately get to that nodule and biopsy it. It's very minimally invasive. It's an outpatient procedure. There's no cuts on incisions. Everything is done with a very small scope that goes through the mouth into the patient's lung. Once the patient is plugged in with our team, we just work together and make sure that we arrive to the diagnosis. The early diagnosis, the better outcome. Before all the technologies we had available, we used sometimes to wait and repeat a CAT scan in three months to see if the nodule grows and if we need to biopsy it at that point. Nowadays, with all the technologies that we have available, if the nodule looks suspicious for lung cancer, even if it is very small, we are able to accurately reach it and get a representative sample from it and diagnose it early. The survival for patients with lung cancer has certainly improved over the last number of years, and patients with more advanced cancer uh, are living longer and with better quality of life than they did before. 